Hi, this is Jesse. It's been a little while since my last video, so I thought I would uh, put a little something out here today. And I thought today I'd talk a little bit about gender identity and sex, and if I can get my dog to shut up, um, we'll get into that. Um, I put some flashcards together. I, I hate to keep it at a second, third grade level, but I also want to keep it where, you know, people like, you know, focus on the family or the traditional values coalition, people like that. I want to keep it a level that they might be able to understand. Uh, most of you probably be able to follow this pretty well. Um, but when it comes to defining sex, uh, some of the um, conservative groups say that, you know, sex and gender are the same thing and that it should be defined by chromosomes. Well, I wanted to take a look at that today. Um, Typically, what they're talking about when they talk about chromosomes are the sex chromosomes, and um, I'm going to give you a little example here. Um, most of you are probably familiar with this, uh, uh, the two X's, which um, traditionally is female, and uh, this one, XY, you know, so I got blue and pink, uh, is typically male, and that is the way uh, some people think we should define uh, sex and gender and gender identity all balled into one uh, in that nice little, um, um, those two boxes, if you will. Uh, but sometimes we don't fit into those boxes, and sometimes there are different boxes that they don't talk about. Um, say, for example, um, thieves. Sometimes people have an extra chromosome, and, well, when you take one such as the XXY, for example, uh, is that a boy or a girl? You know, tell me. I'd like to know. Or, this is my favorite and very personal to me, this one. Now, if you're not familiar with this one, you, what you've got here is you've got an X and a zero or an O, and this isn't actually a type of chromosome here. What this indicates is that a chromosome is missing, and um, this is very personal to me because m my oldest child has this uh, genetic condition. Uh, it's been verified by a, uh, what they call a karyotype, which is where they check your chromosomes. And um, anyway, my oldest child has this condition, and the question I would ask people is, sex and gender, what's it supposed to be when you've got this condition? Now. What I will tell you is that my child just turned nine years old, and the sex marked on the birth certificate does not match my child's gender identity. So the determination the doctors made from genitalia, as well as this, um, really do nothing to um, identify the gender identity of my oldest child and that's a little problematic right now but we're working through it the best we can um, but it's interesting that my gender identity doesn't match what you know, what I'm supposedly am I mean I've never had a karyotype done so how does anybody really know that this is what I've got I don't I couldn't say it with any real confidence um, so that's where I try to get this dialogue going, get the questions out there to say, okay, um, how do we define sex? How do we define gender? And does anyone, a, a doctor or a religious person or group, have the right to define that for us and tell us how we should dress, uh, how, what, sh what name we should go by, what type of name we should go by, and how we should live our lives? Um, I hope you found this interesting. Um, I'll run through them one more time just so you can see. We've got this one, and this one, and this one, which as I've told you is very personal to me, and this, these various options, and there, there, may, there may be more. I'm not sure, I'm not a geneticist, but I do know that there's more than two boxes that um, people fit into. So I hope you enjoyed the video and 
um, welcome any comments you might have, what your thoughts are. And um, until then, I'll see you next time.